uh, before we start, you know, uh, Sir Muhammad, uh, yesterday I said yeah. that, you know, uh, um, uh, you know, I, 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 uh, S, uh, 23 years as, you know, actually, uh, uh, let's say, applied to all, yes, applied to financing, you know, uh, companies. Well, you know, my company is not actually, uh, it's not part of, it's not part of that because uh, we don't have uh, mm. constructions, you know, to, to mm. or, you know, so we don't need to uh, capitalize the, the uh, let me see. Yeah, now you, you got to see what the standard is requiring. Yeah. So, so revenue, revenue, uh, it is recognition is, is applied definitely. Correct. Yeah. See what 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 I want to tell you now. Despite despite which industry you are operating in, based on what the terms and conditions stipulated in the standard, you need to apply. Yes. So simple as that. Yes. Yes. So if you tell me uh, in your business industry, we are not into uh, constructing qualifying assets. See, the word is very important. Huh? Yeah, 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 qualifying assets. Uh, now, sometimes you may, you may have a construction, you will finish it in six months. Yeah, uh, depend on the, in uh, this case, size of the project. In this case, that asset is not uh, qualifying asset. I see. So the qualifying, the, the main criteria for the asset to be qualifying asset, that asset must exceed a construction or acquisition period of 12 months. Okay. Okay. So that, that condition should be applied. Get, get to know. So accordingly, um, Regardless of which industry we are operating in, if we are engaging into a construction that satisfies the condition of a qualifying asset, then we should capitalize based on all the discussions we held yesterday. I see. Borrowing costs that are directly attributable to the acquisition, construction, or production of a qualifying asset form part of the cost of the asset. Other borrowing costs are recognized as expense. An entity shall apply this is standard in accounting for borrowing cost. Standard does not deal with the actual or imputed cost of equity, including preferred capital not specified as liability. This is what we were started discussing yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we yeah. went on to, uh, now we, we talked about ordinary share capital and preference, preference share capital. Share capital, yes. Normal circumstances of a preference share capital is that preference share capital needs to be repaid in a given period of time. Should be they paid in five years. Example, huh? Doesn't mean that you should repay that in five years, but it's, it is just an example. Should be repaid in five years. Yes. Now, we also told this, did we discuss about something called substance over form? No, I uh, don't think this. No. We did not uh, just a minute, huh? Asad? No, no. <clears throat> oh, no, no, okay. Hmm. Just a minute. Bear with me. Yeah, so uh, we did we discussed uh, about substance over form or not? Uh, 
Um, um, I don't recall that, honestly. Mm. That's it. No, no. Pardon? No, no. In the capital. Okay. I will ask you a question like this. In a highway, in a highway, what happens? There is one accident. Okay. Now, the driver in this car does not have the license to drive. But he drove the car and made an accident. And then what happened? What he did, he phoned him up, the owner of the car. Owner of the car could assume like a powerful man in that uh, village or in that area. He came in, he pretended as if he is the owner of the car. I mean, sorry, as if he is the one who drove the car. To cover insurance, huh? <laughs> mm. Now, you tell me, in in, uh, in in legal form, when he producing the driving license, the police may accept this. Unless, uh, if not, uh, unless otherwise, police is already there before these people arrive. That's another issue. But otherwise, if you uh, if they manage to reach and then to um, you know cover it up. Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar. Hello? Yes, I'm with you. Yeah. So, uh, so, from the police end, on a legal front, they will they will uh, claim who That's is the sad. person who made the accident. Based on the available evidence, they're going to claim the owner. Am I right? Yes, yes. However, in a, in a reality, who's, whom to blame? Well, the blame to be... really go to right. the person who actually drove the car. Yeah, okay. Correct? Yes. So, we have something called legal form. Also, we have something called economic substance. Let's assume. Um, in a uh, okay, you have a car showroom, and uh, a car showroom, and an individual. He need to buy a car. Needs investment of. $70,000. But he don't have the uh, money. Then what he does, he approaches someone called
ఫైనాన్స్ కంపెనీ దెన్ ఫైనాన్స్ కంపెనీ ఎప్పుడు వచ్చేస్తుంది కా షోరూమ్ దెన్ దే పే సెవెంటీ థౌసండ్ డాలర్స్ అండ్ ఆస్ దెన్ టు రిలీజ్ ద కార్ టు టు హోమ్ టు దిస్ ఇండివిజువల్ టు దిస్ ఇండివిజువల్ now legally who is the owner depend on the legal form pardon sir i said depend on the legal form if, if, uh, Dep- yeah no no legally who is the owner well if, if it's a uh, lease and the owner is the uh, finance company if it's you know yeah the uh, owner will be the finance company correct yeah by meaning all the legal documents like uh, milkia wala uh, vehicle ownership document everything it would be on the name of the finance company on the forefront everyone sees you will think the vehicle is owned by finance company but who is enjoying both this and the rewards of the car who is enjoying the individual let's name him let's name him he is mr a So who is enjoying? A, Mr. A. Mr. A. Okay. Now, you remember we defined the asset. Correct? We defined yeah. assets. And we said that these assets are resources owned and or controlled. Owned, I use the term, own and or controlled do you remember that i used this term own and or controlled see the the, the resources could could be either owned by a person or the resources could be used and controlled by someone as clear now so you don't necessarily to be the owner for you to say that this is my asset Correct. you could continue to enjoy the benefits and you could continue to uh, tolerate any risk and reward okay understand me yes so accordingly in in which balance sheet this car will be shown as an asset finance company no in the finance company brother they only simply a legal owner but they are not, they are they, they don't uh, enjoy any benefits of the usage of the car and they don't uh, tolerate any risk like insurance or maintenance or any accidents may all this they okay. have nothing to do with this i see i see uh, yes so it's going to be the individual because uh yeah, it's also it will be in the book of mr a yeah, individual yes now it's clear uh, it's also apply on on uh, this is ifr 16 my correct we will come to the day about 16 then we will talk about even in a lengthy manner okay but now i need a, this subject to be explained why i need you all to understand the meaning of the term substance over form yeah. yeah okay clear now so so um, he uh, mr a will be showing that as asset 
So the what we as finance professionals we need to understand that it is not always the legal scenario that we need to look into. We also need to place importance to the substance of appreciated or depreciated. You appreciate me on this what I told you now? Yes, yes. Alas. Now coming to this slide now. They said private capital is not classified as liability. And you, and I'm I was I'm telling you that normally people share capital are the nature that you need to repay back to the people who gave you the money. You remember yesterday I talked about something called Yes, redeem and unredeemable. Remember you discussed, we discussed this, yes, right? Yes, yes. So, what they are saying here, preferred capital is not classified as a liability, meaning uh, in terms of legal circumstances, if you tell that it is a capital, normally capital should be classified as equity, correct? Yes, yes. But, yeah. the share capital, in terms of uh, economic substance, we normally classify that as a liability. Why? We, uh, the, due to the following reasons. One, fixed dividend rate. Like for example, 8% or 12% or something. This is one reason. Second, repay after certain number of Yes. Fixed dividend rate, 8%, 12%, and so on, repay after a certain number of years. Understand me? Yes, please. If you satisfy these two conditions, then that becomes a liability. You have to disclose this as a Liability, but if the if that differential capital satisfying the condition of irredeemable, then it should go into equity. Understand me? Yes. So that's what there is. They say the standard does not deal with the actual or imputed cost of equity. Including preferred capital not classified as a liability. For any of those preferred capital whose uh, classification is not as liability, that uh, the, the cost of that dividend we will not consider as part of IAS 23. Yes, very good. An entity is not required to apply the standard to borrowing costs directly attributable to the acquisition, construction, or production of a qualifying asset measured at fair value, for example, a biological asset. Now, we normally told or discussed that IS 23 is subject to applicable to qualifying asset. But here, if it is under the standard reference of IAS 41, agriculture, then that any borrowing cost you will not consider under IAS 23. Understood or confusing? Yes, now no, it's clear. Very good. Inventories that are manufactured or otherwise produced in large quantities 
on a repetitive basis. For that also, we will not include a yes on the three. Clear? Uh, inventory is under which uh, uh, standard? Inventory is buzzer IS2. Did we discuss on object? Uh, no, I don't, I don't recall. Okay, we will, we will cover that separately. Okay. okay. But the, we now look for the definitions. Borrowing of star interest and other cause that an entity incurs in connection with the borrowing of funds. We discussed this. A qualified asset is an asset that necessarily takes a substantial period of time to get ready for its intended use or sale. Clear? Yes. Examples of qualified assets. Other inventories, I see here, inventories that are manufactured or otherwise produced in Large quantities, okay. On a, this will not be part of IS-23. Clear? Yeah? Yes. But uh, otherwise, uh, examples of uh, qualifying assets will be inventories, manufacturing plants, power generation facilities, intangible assets, and investment properties. And examples of not qualifying assets, financial Sorry. assets. Before uh, we move yes, to this, uh, yes, Mr. Uh, the, the inventories, when you said, you know, that it's the opposite of, of the what you have mentioned, that uh, large quantities. Yeah, uh, meaning, uh, no. think about Toyota. Okay. Toyota manufactures motor vehicles. Yeah. For them, they, are, they don't, uh, they, for them, it is not the... Uh, Non current asset. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay. So it is a production of vehicles at a very, very, very large quantity. Okay. Okay. So, so we that said... situation. Yeah. If, if we said, you know, inventories in small quantities on a you know, on, a, on a normal basis. circumstances. Yeah. Or normal That's what I want to say. Yeah. Yeah. So it will not be, it will not fall under this. Uh, 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 sorry. Uh, uh, yeah, it will fall. It will, yes, it will fall under uh, IIS 23. Correct. Okay. Now, examples of not qualifying assets. Financial assets. What is financial assets? Uh, you know, uh, bonds, shares, and uh, debt. These items. We will discuss that under IFRS 7 and IFRS 9. Inventories that are manufactured over a short period of time. Now we talked about it. If anything be within 12 months, zero. If the construction or manufacturing finishes within this period, you will do not need to apply for IS23. Clear? Yes, clear. An entity shall capitalize borrowing cost when it is probable that they will result in future economic benefit to the entity and the cost can be measured reliably. An entity shall recognize other borrowing costs as an expense in the period in which it incurs them. The rest of all borrowing costs should be taken to PNL and this should go to 
بننسيت اوكي بولوين كورب ريجيبل فور كابيتاليزيشن اكتوال بولوين كورب انكوير اون ذات بولوين ديورين ذا بيريد ليس اني انفستمنت ان كام اون ذا تيمبوري انفستمنت اوف ذوز بولوين يو ريمبر اي ديسكس وان اكزامبل You remember this? Actually, the wrong cost occurred on that. Actually. Yeah. Mr. Aitan, yesterday we talked about January to July. Yes, yes, yes. You, you received the loan, but you don't commence the construction. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So in this so case, that's exactly it will, it. yeah, will not be capitalized. No, you need to subtract the investment income from the total borrowing cost, and the remaining uh -huh. you need to capitalize, Expensive. provided okay. if the construction is ongoing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Remember. To the extent that an entity borrows funds generally and uses them for the purpose of obtaining a qualifying estate, the entity shall determine the amount of borrowing cost eligible for capitalization by applying a something called capitalization rate. Uh, meaning, we need to work out the weighted average capital funds. What percentage that you should work for? I will discuss one small example, then you will understand this. But do you understand in general what is this, what they want to say? To the extent that an entity borrows funds generally and, and, and uses them for... In a certain rate, that's what, you know, rather than period. Correct. Okay. Understood, right? Yes, yes. The capitalization rate shall be the weighted average of the borrowing costs that are outstanding during the period, other than borrowings made specifically for the purpose of obtaining a qualifying asset. So what they what they mean by this? Let's say I borrow one million. And I use for oh, 300,000 project, 500,000 project, and 200,000 project. How many loan I borrow? One million. One million. Single oh, loan. One million. Okay. And I'm using this for three yeah. different projects. So to arrive the cost of borrowing, you need to do something called capitalization rate. You need to calculate something called capitalization rate. So that's based on what the uh, projected income on this and and accordingly, you calculate the weighted average of all this, and that will give you the, the net percentage. Understand me? So we'll take the percentage for each project based on the uh, yes. portion that you have. Hmm. OK. Let me see if I can do that uh, example now.
a company had the following loans in place at the beginning and end of 2016. 1 January 2016, 31 December 2016, 10% bank loan uh, repayable in 2018, 120%, 9.5% bank loan payable 80. And 80. So is there any repayment that's taken place? On Monday, 2016, a company began the construction of a qualifying asset, a piece of machinery for a hydroelectric plant. Using existing borrowings, expenditure drawn down for the construction was 30 million on 1 January and 20 million on 1 October 2016. Calculate the borrowing cost that can be capitalized for the hydroelectric plant machinery. Now, what I want you to understand in this example only how to calculate the uh, what you call uh, capitalization rate. Okay. Now, we have how many loans? Three loans. Three? How many loans? No, so, sorry, one loan with the uh, one loan. Uh, three bifurcation. Uh, yeah. What is three? No, two. From where you get in three? Three, two, and uh, five, yeah. Abidi, 10% bank loan and 9.5% bank loan. Yes or no? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So only two loan. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. I don't understand from where you are finding the third loan. Is that clear? Yeah, listen. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So 120 and 80. The rate ten percent and nine point five percent. What I now need, I need a weighted average in uh, interest rate. How I calculate? 10% into 120 over 120 plus 80 plus 9.5% into 80 over 120 plus 80. You understand my calculation or not? Yes, yes. Could you kindly complete the calculation? Okay, just a second. Let me open my calculator. Both of you have calculator? Yeah, definitely. No. No. See, you 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 are uh, your phone is inbuilt with calculator, huh? What is the answer?
ब्रदर यस फाउंड द आंसर और नॉट नो आई जस्ट अराइव आई यू जस्ट अराइव माशाल्लाह माशाल्लाह वेलकम टू होम Three thousand nine hundred twenty. Huh? Three thousand nine hundred twenty, or no, sir. No, no, no. Do you understand? the reason why i wrote these two numbers in decimals okay you understand or not yeah yeah if you see here it is 10% and it is 9.5% but then i have written here Point one and point zero nine five. Okay. So, do you understand why I have written like this? You will put one under ten uh, and uh, and also hmm? one under. You will put one. That's what you. Okay. Mean. One under ten ten percent and. Sir, 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 sir. Ten percent. Yeah, yeah. If I want to convert, if I want to convert that into decimal, what should I do? Yeah, ten, ten. That will be uh point ten. Yeah, that's exactly what I have done. Mm hmm. So, nine point five percent is point zero nine five. Okay. Right now, can we complete the calculation now? Yeah. Okay. One twenty into point one divided by two hundred. Okay. This. Complete calculation gives you this answer. Into zero point. And do you understand why I have taken this? Sorry. Why I have taken this number as a total? Point forty-four. Zero point forty-four. This one. No, no. This one zero point thirty-eight. Yeah, this one zero point thirty-eight. No, no, zero point zero three eight maybe. Yeah, yeah, zero point zero three. Correct. So the to total will be zero point forty-four. Zero point forty-four. Zero point zero forty-four. I will kill you, sir. I will kill you now. No, no, zero. Uh... Point zero nine eight. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. So should I come to kill you or not? <laughs> yeah. So, it's so okay. then what you do? Understand? Me. Yes. So this is exactly what they are talking about here. Capitalization rate shall be the weighted average of the borrowing cost that are outstanding during the period, other than ah, borrowing made specifically for the purpose of. Obtaining a qualified asset. What is that? 
See, here I have written, you borrow how much? One million. Yeah, one, one million, okay. One million, and then you use this for three different projects, correct? Yes. That is? But on the other hand, if you borrow yeah, yeah. 350,000 only for project four, if you happen to borrow some funds specifically for a given project, then you don't need to worry about calculating capitalization rate. Can you now read and understand this? Hmm? Okay. So, the amount of borrowing cost that an entity capitalizes during a period shall not exceed the amount of borrowing cost incurred during that period. Now, that is also very, very um, obvious, but I will try to explain you. What's that? Let's say interest. You paid to you paid by cash two hundred thousand. And then when you think about capitalizing debit asset, this cannot be more than 200. It's logical, right? Yes. So that's what this is. Commencement of capitalization. I will take a few minutes break and I'll continue. Huh? Okay.
Yes, uh, team, I'm back. So, now we need to talk about, hello? Yes, I'm with you. Uh, Jin, can you make me host? Jean, are you there? Hello, Jean? Let's uh, text her. Okay, so we will. Uh, he's, uh, hello. Oh, okay, yeah, thank you. Now we need to talk about from when we should commence the capitalization. The commencement date for capitalization is the date when the entity first meets all of the following conditions. All of the following conditions. It incurs expenditures for the search, meaning the construction started. It incurs borrowing cost, meaning the entity paying interest to the bank. It undertakes activities that are necessary to prepare the asset for its intended use or sale. So when you satisfy all of these three conditions, then you commence the capitalization of borrowing cost. Understand me? Yes. Now, theciation of capitalization. That also we I discussed with that diagram. An entity shall cease capitalization borrowing cost when substantially all the activities necessary to prepare the qualifying asset for its intended use or sale are complete. Clear. And physical construction complete. Minor modification may be out, uh, outstanding here and there. Small, small, you know, touch ups can be still possible. Is there a limit for uh... me... pardon? Is there is there a limit for the second uh, part? No, no, very minor. Uh... No, 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 okay. there's no limit. Okay, disclosure an entity shall disclose the amount of borrowing cost capitalized during the period. And the capitalization rate used to determine the amount of borrowing cost eligible for capitalization. You should, you should disclose the amount of borrowing cost capitalized during the period. The capitalization rate used to determine the amount of, now you remember that calculation, no? How we got this 9.8%? Yes, yes. So you got to disclose that also. Okay. Yes. So with this, we are done with the, the theory discussion of IS23. Shall we try now questions?
Yes, let's see if um, Zubair is. Well, yes, yeah, let's sir. find yeah, out yeah, Mr. Zubair. Mr. Zubair? Yeah, yeah. I have... Yes, sir, yes. Okay, we will... Uh, I will finish the question now. I'm just downloading the questions. Please bear with me. Give me a bit of time. No problem. Can you see the screen? No, we can't. You can't? Again, I just go on. Jane. Please make me host.
or Jean. Can you hear me, Jean? Can you please make me host? Hello. You are a host now. Yeah. Can you try these questions? Which are the following best described following cost according to IS 23? A, A. Can you hear me, Mr. Muhammad? Yeah, yeah. Answer is A. A. Yeah, that's correct. Mr. Zubair? Yes, sir. Do you agree with the answer A? Yeah, you're right. Uh, A is correct, but I am just reading. Okay, you read it, no problem. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's okay. And Question two. Question two, okay. Uh, okay, B. Yeah, B, B. Mashallah, mashallah. Did you did that? Mashallah. <laughs> no, you are a plastic. Uh, this is the important thing. <laughs> Pardon? I said we want, inshallah, uh, pass the uh, exam. You should. You will, inshallah. Why not? Inshallah. 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 Okay, which of the following bowling calls should be expensive in the end of the eye? Um, a cost incurred a pay for routine administrative duties. Uh, C, this is the uh, okay, I'll exclude uh, A. C, you C. will exclude A, Kalas? Yes, C. That's, this is the, uh, C is the answer. The answer. C is the answer? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let me read the question. Which of the following borrowing costs should be expensed immediately under IS-22? Habibi, expensed, meaning what? Okay. End of. Okay. Uh -huh. So if you read C and they give uh, a word here. Substantial period of time. So Shuhala, Tabbiani. Okay. Uh incurred for routine administrative activity. Ah, uh, cost incurred for the purchase uh, of inventory, as we said, you know, if it's... Uh... Cost incurred for purchase of inventory, actually, because we have not studied that inventory yet. But what do you think? Okay. Inventory is what? Inventory is an asset or expense for us? No, of course not. Inventory is an asset. Inventory is an asset, but this, okay. I think, is an asset, right? activity. Yes. Yeah. D D. Yes, D. Mr. Haitam, you okay? Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah no. Good. Let's go to question number four. Okay. 
Capitalize from the average of the following money cost. We capitalize when determine the capitalization of the money cost. What money cost of each company in operation in B. Question number four. According to IS 23, which of the following borrowing costs should be capitalized when determining the capitalization rate? Borrowing costs incurred for inventory that are manufactured in large quantities. Now we discussed about it. We will not do anything yes, for A. Yes. Yeah. B. Borrowing costs incurred by acquisition of land held for long term investment properties. Yeah. That also we will not consider. Borrowing costs incurred for construction of a residential building that will be sold to customers. And borrowing costs incurred for short-term financing arrangement. Short-term is 0 to 12 months. Mm. Yes, so D. Between D and D, what is the most appropriate answer? D. Hmm? D. D or C? According to IS 23, which follows hmm? D. We said we said D, you know, less yeah, than that. Sir. According to IS 23, which of the following costs should be capitalized? See, we will capitalize only if it is uh, taking substantial period of time. Yeah. So, no, short term financing arrangement, is it anything to do with uh, this thing? No, nothing. So, D also yes, out. Uh, yes, C. So, do you have a confusion with B? C. If you really read B and C, B talks about acquisition of land, whereas C speaks yes. about construction <clears throat> of a residential building. And we know that this will take long period. Correct? They, yeah, but they didn't mention long period. Um, yeah, it's tech. Any, no, it do not mention, but you, generally, normal understanding is what no residential building, like a, a compound. Can you finish it in one year? No. no. Right. right. Oh. Is, that, is that okay? Yeah. Mr. Haith, are you okay? Yes, yes. Oh. Let's move on to the next question. Okay, I want to exclude. I will exclude uh, D. You will go with? No, I will exclude D. Oh, you will exclude D. D for yeah. doll. Yes. Okay. Uh, but I'll catch the B for players when we're dealing with construction phase of the lesson. Well, uh, this is also. C. Yeah, C is. is uh, C, C. C is also it's correct. You know. I can see it's correct. C is correct? Yeah. And I don't know. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so both C. of you want C. C. Answer the C? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. What about the about two answers? Did you read that or you didn't read? No, I read that, but. Uh... Yeah, we Borrowing costs should be capitalized until the asset is substantially complete, 
and ready for its intended use. For sale, what do you think? Okay. What is the difference between A and C? Borrowing costs should be kept less only during the construction phase. So, we have different phase. Position phase, site, clearance, phase, designing phase, all that is there. So if you tell me no only during the construction, no I will get less, is it correct? No, it's not. It's still, we can, no, no. the acquisition, acquisition is A as well. Yeah, so. So it's A, and C is a. not right, yeah. Answer is yeah. question number Tricky six. Questions. Tricky questions. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Processing is correct. The screen is not visible. Guys, give me two minutes, sir. Huh? Okay. Okay. Question number six. Which of the following statement regarding the capitalization of borrowing cost from the IS-23 is correct? What about the answer D? No, this is incorrect. 
D is incorrect. Yeah. What about C? Uh, should be capitalized with the con No. Incorrect. What about answer B? Uh, Baron should be capitalized based on the actual Baron rate. Yes. And what, what, what could be the possible yeah, confusion maybe. you will have in answer A? Uh, weighted, weighted average. average. Weighted average. They use the term here, please watch. See, again, very tricky question. Uh -huh. They use the term here, weighted average, but we discussed the term uh, capitalization rate. Yes. Uh -huh. So, that was the wrong. Clear? Yeah. Yes, yes, clear. Question seven. This is also a tricky question. Yes. Intangible assets. Mashallah, very good. Yeah. Intangible assets under uh, development. See, the, they see again, they are playing word here. They use yes. the word future development. Future. Now you remember I did this example. Yes, yes. Now this 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 calculus, this final answer. Is, I could name it. Effective, yeah. So you see the see how how our questions are connecting with our discussion? Yeah. So D. What is the answer? D. Ah, uh, sorry. Uh, uh, A is wrong. This is also B wrong. B is also wrong, right? C, C. C. The rate subscribed by local government. No, is no, no. To do with the C. government? Yeah. no wrong, wrong. D, yes. Okay. Question number nine. What is the answer? When capitalizing borrowing costs for a qualifying asset under construction, which of the borrowing expenses should be excluded from the borrowing cost capitalized? Insurance costs related to the construction site. 
See, if you don't pay the insurance cost for a construction site, could you have that in a construction site with you? No. No. So, no, it is so insurance cost is uh, essential or not essential? Essential. 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 So that is uh, we need. So that's a correct answer, but that's not the answer they're asking. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cost of purchasing yeah, land excluded. Yeah. So cost of purchasing cost of land for yeah. construction to that also should be included. Should be included. Yes. Legal also. Legal fees. Incurred. Uh, for legal also. Uh, well, of course, if you now don't yeah. pay. If you don't pay the legal bill, what the, will the lawyer give you the deed? Yes, exactly. Cost of annual maintenance of machinery used in construction. Yeah, Is it separated. anything to do with our uh, capitalization of the construction? No, it's a separated. No. Answer is. Question number 10. What is the correct answer? You remember we talked about this in the diagram. Yeah, we take it out during the suspension period. Do you, see, during the suspension period, if you incur borrowing cost, can you capitalize is the question? No. We cannot capitalize, correct? Yeah. So A is correct or wrong? Borrowing cost going to apply during the No. During the suspension period, should be expense immediate. Yeah, I think B. Mr. Haitam, you are with me? Uh, yes, yes. Over extended then... So B is this. No, 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 you, can't you can't defer anything. Yeah. And Borel Costa can... waived. No, you will you not waive wait. anything. Yeah. Yeah. So answer this. So this concludes the discussion of IAS 23. I would request you all to do one exercise, see if it is possible. Okay, before that, let's go to uh, the... Somewhere I shared the syllabus, right? Yeah, the first, at the beginning of the... Uh... Chat of the group. That one. Where is the syllabus now? In this, we are done with this fully.
correct yeah yes and then we are done with this also yeah, and revenue we are done as well yeah revenue. in this uh, number three also we have done yeah not done today we are we just finished uh, yes 13 uh, 23 oh, yeah, yeah yes 23 we will now discuss 16 but what i want you to try or perform an exercise go to go to google and look for mm. each standard pdf and download them and uh, whenever no, no meaning for example huh? is 23 dot pdf you search like this <clears throat> See? Complete standard will come. Okay. Understand me? Yes. And whenever you have time, feel free to read them. Sure. Sure, sure. Okay. Okay. No. Yeah, sure. Sure. So we we will uh, resume discussion of IA 16 which is property plant and equipment then 5 okay. 6 7 8 okay. 9 10 11 12 pardon no no it's okay i'm just repeating hmm. so we will uh, Oh, still remaining a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We had to see the the problem was brothers uh, at the beginning. We had to uh, uh, make your get the base base correct. Yeah. So I had to spend time, but you will see I am uh, pushing my or uh, I am pedaling up. You will realize that. Yeah, yeah. And and I also need your support in coming in the same speed of mind. So, sure. but don't worry, I'm not going to rush or run away, but I will try to speed up so that uh, we uh, we caught up with our timings. Yeah. Okay? Okay. okay. Yes. Fine. So, where is it? Uh, yeah. Let me share this. Why? Yes, sir. Uh, property only just to uh, correct it. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm checking whether you are sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> Good. So, that we have uh, passed this exam. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's a small story. Uh, we could spend three minutes. It's a story yeah. from India. There is um, sort of a uh, sort of a, a very known as a very knowledgeable person, wisdom man. Okay, okay. he has a team, but he actually <laughs> typically he is a number one fool. But he claimed himself is the number one wisdom man in the village. 
Okay. So then, then it crosses the river. So there's a river. Then it crosses the river. They, the him and his team, around let's say around eight, another eight people, came to the sea that uh, river river bank, and they're spending the night over there. And they uh, cooked, they ate, and they are about to sleep. And uh, this uh, wisdom man, uh, this uh, told them his uh, his team. Go and check whether the river is sleeping or not. <laughs> because to cross over the river, only time when you can cross when the river is sleeping. Then the team questioned him, how do I know if the river is sleeping or not? Then he told, take a firewood. You know the firewood they used to cook the meal? Yeah. Just after the finishing the cooking, do you think the fire is off or is still fire is on? That the remainder of the firewood after finishing the cooking, that the, uh, the uh, leftover fire, fire, small fire will be carried, carried, continued in that firewood. Correct? Oh, yes. Yeah. Understood yeah, it or can not? Be. Yeah, yeah, it can yeah. be. Yes. yes. Then, he took one of them and then gave it to one of his team member. Said, "Go and keep this portion in the river." Okay. When you keep the fire in the water, what will happen? A sound will come, right? Yes. Yeah. Sound. So when the sound came, then the wisdom man said, "No, this is not the right time. He is still awake." <laughs> Okay. Okay. Later, after like uh, three, four hours, he gave the same stick. <clears throat> and then he told, okay, go and uh, keep it and see. Now when he kept, no sound. <laughs> now, now he said, okay, this is the right time. The river is very, very deep sleep. Let's cross the river. Yeah, so uh, that is one story. Uh, okay. Long back, uh, I used to read uh, in a book. So don't don't trust. Uh, uh, what do you mean? You know, what what is behind it now? What where do you want to reach on this one? So no, no, don't no, trust. Uh... Story, yeah. No, no. Moral <laughs> of the story is. When I wrote here, uh, and then I didn't uh, write the why, and I told you that uh, I was checking whether you are sleeping. Okay. So same like this man did, I was checking both of you. <laughs> okay, <laughs> now, now it makes sense. Okay. Yeah, now it makes sense, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. anyhow, um, we will... Uh, we will... Uh, Start with uh, uh, 16, property, plant, and equipment. Now, first of all, we need to define Now, in short, we need to define what is PP. Can you all can you all give me a hint? Property, planet, and equipment. Uh, as as the uh, as the uh... Well, I don't know if it's you know translate itself, you know, property, whatever, you know, it's owned by the uh are you with me? Yeah, I'm with you, I'm with you, I'm listening. Yeah, property what what any in a tangible assets owned by Okay, wait, 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 wait. I'll note it down. I'll note it down. What you're saying is now you use the very key term. 
tangible. Tangible is it? Okay, continue, Mr. Haytham. Uh, we said, yeah, what uh, tangible assets owned by certain entity. Control, yeah. So now, did we? I think we discussed IAS one, right? Yes or no? Yeah, IAS one. Yes, we have. Yes. <clears throat> and, and then, and then we said that you should classify your assets as to Uh, long term and... assets. Okay, okay. Long term assets. That's what long this time. is the missing. Yeah. So now, uh, Mr. Haitham, we don't use the term long term. We now updated new term is non current. Uh, uh, okay. So, PP are tangible. If I stop at this point, what do you think? Is it uh, gives a complete meaning to a reader? No. Yeah, no. I would accept your answer, provided you are reading this to a layman. Property, plant, and equipment are tangible, non current assets. Then you got to go and explain what are tangible. tangible. Those non-current assets whose who or physically uh, those exist. Non -current assets will have physical okay. Physic existence. Physical substance. Okay. Yeah. So that is Mr. Dubet. Yes. I hope you, you are enjoying a very uh, tasty meal. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Sorry. So I'm still I'm still updating my register for the uh, you know the number of meals you should uh, give it to us. <laughs> All right. So the those you are welcome anytime. When you will be here, you can. We yeah, will yeah. add all. <laughs> you you will you will uh, receive sudden shock from me. You so never you'll know when I will be landing in. You'll have long you uh, menu, uh, Zubair. Long yeah. list of menu, huh? Yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> he, might, he might be running back to Pakistan. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so tangible means those non current assets will have physical substance. Then we also need to go and explain what are non current assets. The assets that's over uh, will 12 months. Bring the okay benefit benefit or economic benefits with over, over a period months. it will bring economic benefits over a period exceeding twelve, 12 months. <laughs> So now, as a student of financial reporting, and as we studying IA sixteen PPE, and when we are defining the PPE, it is sufficient for us to write this sentence only. Mr. Haitam, I hope you understood what I'm trying to mean now. 
Yeah, but where's the ownership, you know, in this? See, brother, those we uh -huh. already defined everything. Okay. Now, in, in that, then the loop will continue. In that means, then I have to define what is asset. Okay. Then we go back to the Musas regime, try to define everything from the scratch. I see. Correct? Yes, yes. So, uh, although for the sake of understanding and for the sake of uh, in interpretations and uh, what you call uh, discussion, I have uh, discussed and talked about this. My yeah, definition yeah, yeah. for PP would be sufficient to stop at property, plant, and equipment are tangible, non-current assets. And the presumptions yeah. are that those readers who are reading IA 16 uh, will, will have a uh, carry forward knowledge about what are tangible, what are yes. non current, and what is an asset. Clear. Yeah. Yeah. So, first we define PPE. Then, can we think about example? I also I also have a different uh, ex exposure or experience with regards to the term P P E. You see, I am sure even both of you have seen this in construction site. Have you seen P P E must? Yeah. P P E must. And you know, yeah, P P E must. Have you seen that in the huge uh, construction site? Outside, the, there's a sign board. PPE must. Pre qualification? No, no. 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 See, I, yes. I came to Qatar 2003. Okay? Yeah. Uh, something in and safety or. I don't know. I don't know what. Uh, PPE. Yeah, let me, let me do my experience on this. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm coming to that. See, I reached to Qatar in 2003. That's my very first travel outside Sri Lanka. Okay? Brothers? Okay. Yeah, I'm with you. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, then uh, I just completed my CA studies in Sri Lanka. And there I learned a lot about property plant and equipment how to account and what to capitalize and depreciation and all this blah, blah, blah. So my mind is full of PPE. Okay. So when I went to Qatar and then started roaming around the city in tall, high-rise construction buildings, I am reading this PPE, from, uh, compulsory PPE, must PPE, mandatory like this. I started uh -huh. wondering myself, property plant and equipment must. <laughs> what, what do you mean by this? But then I realized it is personal protective equipment. Yes, 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 yes. And safety, yeah. This is what I'm trying to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Then I went to one construction site. And I went and met one uh, supervisor there. And I asked him, what is this PP? And he explained me, brother, this is personal protective equipment. See, I'm, so, I'm doing fine with the abbreviations. No, no worries. So. Yes. So uh, we said, yes, yes, you know. I, 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 <laughs> I still forgot that I should not be, I should be avoiding the abbreviation. But mashallah, you, you now uh, became Fannan. Yeah. yeah, you know, our life is, uh, you know, uh, built, uh, I mean, uh, relying on abbreviations. So, yes. It's so, needed. anyhow, we go back to our discussion. So, example. Land, building, motor vehicle, machinery, plant, equipment, furniture. I could keep on writing. Yeah, yeah, lots. Fittings, machinery, electronic. 
Yes. Electronic equipment. Machinery. <coughs> Computer. So you would find a huge, an exhaustive list of examples falling under the category of PPE. Yeah. 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 Clear. Yeah. Clear. Good. Next. Scope. But we will discuss in PPE. Or in other words, accounting for property, plant, and equipment under this heading. But we Cost. will discuss. Cost. No. Sir, Post. oh sorry. No, 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 no. Before that, you should understand the meaning of the scope. The scope means maybe with regard to the standards, the what areas this particular standard we will cover. Oh, I see. Um okay. Or in a in a in a in a reverse way, we can say that IAS. 16 excludes discussion of uh, financial assets, biological assets, okay, investment properties. And so on. So, Inventive. this is what I'm, I wanted to tell you. In this standard, we are not going to specifically discuss about any of this. Uh, and sorry, and in clear, clear, yeah. So, Mr. Zubair, you also okay, right? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, now objective. What could be the objective of IA sixteen or property plant and equipment in order to provide an a, a, a discussion of required accounting treatment for property plant and equipment. Uh, technical discussion for accounting of PP. That's what uh, is the objective of IS sixteen. Okay. Yes. Right. Definitions. Actually, I have already defined PP. You understood what oh. I written here? Yeah, control C and copy paste. Or control B. Copy paste. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> copy paste from? From the uh, above. Uh... Exactly. Yeah. Cost. Meaning? Cost of property, plant, and equipment. Yeah. All directly attributable cost incurred in order to 
bring any given assets to its intended location and workable condition understand me yes, whatever yes. the payment you will make in order to bring that any given assets to its intended location and workable condition are known as are the part of the cost of the property plant and equipment let me give one um, one illustration Let's say I'm purchasing uh, an equipment from German. According to my skill of art, this is Germany. According to my skill of drawing, this is Qatar. And we have a factory here. Uh, factory here in uh, Qatar. And uh, we need to buy one equipment, one machine we need. That should be placed here. This machine available in one uh, production or um, that machine production facility in German. There's a there is a factory here. They produce this particular machine. And then this is port. Hope you know what the port means. Yeah, yeah. What happens? An email goes to this factory in German from the factory in Qatar sending an attachment of FPO. What is FPO? No, not really. Mr. Zubair, what do you think? Yes, sir. FPO. Purchase order, maybe. P.O. Purchase very order. Very good, very good. Purchase order. But then F, what do you think? F, yeah. F, F means uh, what? Uh, See, brother, now this is Kata. Correct? Fried, 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 maybe, or fried. No, brother. They are oh, okay. buying this machine from Kata or outside Kata? Foreign, foreign. Exactly. Outside. This is a foreign purchase order. Okay. Mm. So then you will also have something called LPO. What is LPO? Yeah. Uh, let me see. <laughs> I'm I'm testing Lady, this the right purchase order. Lady, ah, okay. Lady, foreign Lady. purchase order. Foreign purchase order. No, no. This is the first yeah, one. But, it's, we're done. Yeah, from this second. One. Yeah, first one for in purchase order. Second one is local Lo purchase loading. order. Local. Okay. No, no, local purchase order. See, if you happen to buy items within the country, you said that local purchase order. If you happen yeah. to buy the items beyond the country, then you say that for in purchase order. Okay. So anyhow, one email goes to this factory in German. Uh, and the attachment of one FPO saying that we need this machine. So then they will arrange the machine and then arrange the delivery. First of all, they will issue something called supplier invoice. So if you don't pay the supplier's invoice, Will the factory people will deliver that machine to Qatar? No. no. They won't. So first of all, we need to agree for this. So this is part of the cost. So if I if I read this 
statement here, yeah? all directly attributable cost. So the supplies invoice is one of the directly attributable cost, correct? Yeah. Okay. Then directly attributable are the cost. Directly attributable are the cost meaning. Now, see, this now this machine is sitting in the inside the factory of German. And this need to travel to the ports in German. So this is going to travel through uh, Harry Potter. <laughs> it's not right. So you need yeah. a transport Shipping. mechanism. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. So uh, you know, before shipping, we need something called local transport. So this needs to reach to the ports. So it's a and port, in the port, yeah, okay. they need to put, put, it, put this into a ship. And, you know, all these... Yeah. Carrier charges. Uh, transport. No. Bill of lading or whatever. Yes. Loading. Uh, flight, insurance, duty, all these are, if you don't agree to pay any of this, you will not be able to ship, ship and that item will not reach Qatar. Correct. One second. So, so uh, other cost includes all of them. The unavoidable cost, we call it. Unavoidable cost. So that we need. And also sometimes, let's say this machine comes to Qatar first time. This machine comes to Qatar first time. And these people in Qatar, pardon? Uh, register, you know, the... Uh... Yeah, let's, you know, see, this machine comes to Qatar first time. Yeah, this is... Uh, you know, legal subjects, meaning in the ports and the registration, all that, let's assume all that is done. But okay. when it reach the factory here in our our premises, before we uh, start the machine, we may need to arrange the space to be ready to install the machine. Site uh, preparation, uh, required so. wiring, you know, reach, sometime... Uh, uh, I think I reach where you want to reach, and you know, of uh, where you want to, you know, describe. It's the mm. cost of the uh, all of this. What you have mentioned is the cost of the uh, fixed assets were all included. That's what you. Uh, oh, exactly, exactly. Yeah. That's what I wanted to uh, okay. make both of you understand. Okay. So, you know, then I see sometimes some special wiring required: three phase, uh, two phase, and fifteen ampere plug. Uh, like this, isn't it? Yes. Mm. So, that is also there. One more point, brother. Let's say now this machine comes first time to Qatar and people don't know how, how to configure this. There is no technician, no engineer, no electrician, no what do you call that, foreman or whoever who doesn't know how to configure and start the production. Then you have no option but to bring a guy from German. 
Yes or no? Yes. Then you need to pay all his cost. Excursion cost, hotel cost, eating cost, dancing cost, everything. <laughs> I hope okay. you understood what I meant. Yeah, yeah, very clear. <laughs> so uh, we need to incur, this all cost will be considered as part of directly attributable other cost. Clear? Yes. Yeah. Then there is also some sometimes that we might have some benefits as well. Now let's say you are bringing one one machine, and this machine is going to uh, perform a uh, production in Qatar, and the Qatar's economy is going to boost. And the Qatar government says, "Ah, oh, my friend, you are doing something really uh, awesome, phenomenal to Qatar." So what we do is that we give you some benefits. We give you rebates, discount, what are these? These are like, you know, for example, uh, you got to pay custom duty of uh, 1 million. Example, huh? Yeah. And the government says, we will bear 50%. So how much you will pay then? 500. Correct. For that balance, 500 is what? That 500 is, you can classify within this category. Okay, this, this counts. Why not? Uh, subsidies. So, so, this minus this will be your net cost of PPE. Understood. Yes. Yeah. So, with this, with this gives you a very concrete understanding as to how we uh, calculate and arrive. Um, what you call uh, this uh, top PP. Yeah, sometimes in in a, in a real life, when you do the counting, you find it uh, this uh, uh, what you call this custom duty. Custom duty charges, yeah, yeah. they they impose, but you don't get the you don't get the invoice in the month you bring the item. Mm. Or you will not be able to identify the uh, custom duty specific to one particular piece of method. Maybe you you would you would have a performer invoice. But oh, now five it's items. Online. We can get. Yeah. 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 Alhamdulillah. Now, now scenarios get, became better. So everything is online, so you can get it. So then they add the custom duty, and then you have the total invoice. But the problem is, I have one, mm -hmm. two, three, four, five items. How I will bring to against each was a, a challenge in the past. What about if there is any minor, you know? Uh... Uh, let me say uh, part of this, you know, fix, fix or uh, fix asset. Okay. Or PPE. No, I didn't understand is, your is, question, sir. If there is a minor, you know, uh, part, or, okay. you know, the main, the main part, you know, being, let's yeah. say, damaged, for example, uh, we will, by, you know, we will talk about subsequent expenditure. Sub, you know, in the in the next uh, discussion, we're going to talk about subsequent. I understood your question. Let's say your car, your motor vehicle, your yes. your engine, you replace it. Yes. Yes. So how are we going to treat this? Okay. This is what you're asking me, right? Yes, exactly. Yes. It's part of the cost. So this is what I'm that, I will uh, take it through tomorrow. We will stop at this point and we will see you tomorrow, inshallah. 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 Okay, sir. I hope uh, uh, we are uh, really on track. And uh, we wanted to gear up now.
Now that uh, yeah. we are getting yeah. some interesting standards, so we will go in that phase. Inshallah. Yeah, how guys. to remember? <laughs> see, now, see, to, to be very honest, yeah. the reading reading is the only only uh, gift or only way to keep your things. Remember, now, I am now talking to you all. Trust me, I don't yeah. read anything. MashaAllah, you are uh, knowledgeable. You know, you, you have the experience to... to uh... So this has to come through keep reading it. And also, you know, for example, if you're a doctor, if you're a doctor and you are in a surgery room, if and you are doing the first time surgery, no one will allow you to do the surgery. You you will be with the senior doctors. But as you yeah. go on through like 10, 15 surgeries, and then you easily know where are the scissors, where are the stitches, are, where are the wound is. That even you close your eyes and you do the surgery. Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. But I think. So uh, uh, let, let me elaborate uh, Zubair's you know yeah. uh, question. Uh, where to find you know more? Uh, let me say uh, questions on each you know let me say uh, uh, standards we covered. Hmm. At least we can review, and we'll we'll gain you know knowledge more and more and more. But in a I'm, way, I'm it's much to, much better I'm than reading. To... You know, Correct. See, now there are actually brothers. There are so many questions. I can just show you, but the problem is that these questions may not be within the scope. That is the problem. Mm -hmm. If you see this one here, I'll show you. For example, these questions. We discussed about it, conceptual framework. And these are a little bit high. So here I have, you see, all these are questions, question, question. And I could share this. The problem is this is not relevant. I am trying to get hold of the ACCA questions for uh, certificate in IFR. Yeah, but where is the, you know, which is, you know, similar what you have actually uh, shared with us, you know, the questions. Yeah. And uh, we would like to have more, you know, questions on um, each, you know, yeah, so my, my, my also alternative target, brother, after finishing the theory, we need to discuss like 100, 200 questions together. Okay. Uh, okay. okay. Inshallah. If we do that, okay. Inshallah. then uh, you step into exam, then uh, that exam is like, you know, uh, alhamdulillah. Piece of cake. Yeah. Piece of cake, Inshallah. yes. So all yeah. eating uh, peanuts. <laughs> okay. It's okay for eating peanuts or eating jumbo peanuts. <laughs> yeah, jumbo okay. peanuts. Inshallah. 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 Okay, sir. Masalama. Have okay. a nice uh, okay. evening. Okay. Although and it is too late to say you. this, but yet a uh, very nice evening. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Salam alaikum. Yeah. Assalamualaikum.